Hello everybody and welcome to the Key of Truth, the series on my channel where I discuss everything Kingdom Hearts, ranging from theories to facts to explanations. Today we're going to talk about who the 7 Lights and 13 Darknesses are going to be. But first, let's really quickly recap what that actually means. If a bold guy tries to make a war to find the heart of our world, Kingdom Hearts, in order for this war to happen he needs something called the Keyblade. He needs 13 vessels of darkness and 7 hearts of light to clash in order to make this Keyblade to get this war to happen. So, now that we know what we're talking about, let's get started. The 7 lights are pretty obvious. It's Sora, Riku, Kairi, Aqua, Vantis, Mickey and Lee. Don't try to convince me otherwise, it's just gonna be that way. If you think it's something else, you're just gonna have to deal with the fact that you're wrong. Things start getting interesting now, let's get into the darknesses. This might be a little bit more of a problem, because we only know 6 and there are 13 in total. Okay, let's start off with the 6 we already know, which are Master Xehanort, Young Xehanort, Anson, Seeker of Darkness, Xamnas, Zigbar and Saiyax. So that's 6 down already, 7 to go. So you might have noticed there are a couple obvious ones missing in this list, which are Terra and Vanitas. That's 2 more down, just 5 to go. When Lee woke up in Radiant Garden, there were a couple of organization members with him, but he noticed that a couple of them weren't there, which were Isa and Break. Obviously, they were with Xehanort in the new organization. The fact that the other ones, which were even Ayanza, Dylan and Ilias, were still with him in Radiant Garden, probably means that they're not darknesses. But we're still missing a couple of members, aren't we? Like Damox and mainly Luxor. The Sunbodies were never seen in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, so that could mean a couple of things. First off, they could be darknesses with Xehanorts in the organization. It could also mean that they are not yet some bodies because the Heartless has not been destroyed yet, or that the some bodies actually woke up in a different world entirely. To make this easy on me, let's just assume they're darknesses, so that's just free to go at this point. But mind you, Xehanort himself doesn't know one of them, so we're only gonna guess two of them, really. Riku. Obviously, I mean, he's the embodiment of darkness in this series. He might be immune to darkness, but time travel is a thing, remember? And in Kingdom Hearts 1, he kinda was possessed by Hansen. So he has a connection to Xehanort. He's the perfect candidate for being a darkness, and I don't see why not. So, just to clarify, not the modern day Riku, but the Kingdom Hearts 1 version of Riku where he was possessed by Ansem. With just one darkness to go, we move out of the realm of I think this is gonna happen, into the realm of this will probably not happen, but if it did, I'd feel like a total boss. Okay, prepare. I think. 12th darkness might actually be Ansem the Wise. Okay, hear me out on this one. First off, all the darknesses are marked by having yellow eyes. Does anybody remember Ansem the Wise's eye color? Exactly, it's orange, which is close enough to yellow for me to get suspicious. Maxed up, he was trapped in a realm of darkness and he escaped using dark magic. The dark powers he probably got through being affected by the darkness. Also, this might be a little bit far-fetched, but have you ever considered why Xehanort started calling himself Ansem? Just pointing it out, but I could probably make it into a whole separate video. You know what, I probably will. I'm gonna say the 13th one, even though I wasn't gonna guess it, could pretty much be anybody. I mean, if Sora could be a darkness. Sora, the main protagonist, the hero, the hero of light, as he is known in Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. If he could be a darkness, anybody can. So who can't be a darkness? Well, it's obviously not gonna be any Disney or Final Fantasy characters because I feel like they want Kingdom Hearts exclusive characters for the lights and darknesses. That being said, Mickey Mouse kinda is a Disney character, so not too sure about that. So if we're gonna discuss only Kingdom Hearts characters, a couple of ones are just not gonna happen, which is Vantus because he doesn't have any darkness, and the Princesses of Hearts because, again, they don't have any darkness. And neither does Sora now, so hey, he can't be one either anymore. Which is good, because I am the only one on the planet who actually likes Sora, I think. But that's been it for today. Do not forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will be back next time when I discuss why Kingdom Hearts is pretty much Star Wars. That's not actually kidding, I'm actually gonna make a video about that. So subscribe to stay tuned. Bye.